Just like every school, Sacred Heart University has very clear-cut COVID-19 guidelines. We put together what we called a pioneer promise. Asking students to protect themselves, others on campus, and the greater Bridgeport and Fairfield communities. In our resident halls, we changed our guest policies uh, where students cannot have kind of inter-hall visitation allowed. We've reduced the number of guests that you can have in your room at any uh, given point in time. And students living off campus in Sacred Heart housing also must follow guidelines. We changed the policies and said if they had gatherings of more than 12 at their house, they would also be in violation of our COVID policies. And whether it's violations of these policies or simply not wearing masks, Sacred Heart is sending a stern message, having suspended 109 students so far. Of those 109, two students were uh, repeat offenders, so they were removed for the entire semester. It's unfortunate that that many students had to be reprimanded, but I'm happy that when students are doing so, Sacred Heart's taking action against it. But those suspended do have access to remote learning. And the university prides itself on constant messaging on the pandemic. One way Sacred Heart is engaging the students, these scent tents around campus where they actually have an opportunity to literally smell the roses. And if you can smell the roses, besides maybe starting off the day with a nice fresh scent, that tells you that you're, uh, you haven't lost that sense of smell. And if you do, that's one sign that you may have contracted COVID. I actually love it. As of Friday, 237 SHU students had been afflicted by COVID. And they say next week they will administer nearly 3,000 tests, which is about half of their on-campus population. In Fairfield, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.